I used to live in Easton, Pennsylvania in a beautiful carriage house and I went to an estate sale one Sunday afternoon and apparently the old man had died and there were piles and piles of interesting gadgets and trinkets and just a little bit of everything. And then I sat back down and started watching the auction and I just kept thinking of the man who collected all of this a tin of brass keys and it's the first item that I thought was really interesting. And so I bid and, and another person bid against me and the price kept going up and up and it was 15 and 20 and 25 and 30. And then I just figured, why do I really want them? What does it matter? So I stopped bidding and let the other man win. And I was a little disappointed in myself because I thought they were interesting. And the next item that the auctioneer brought up was this huge tin. It's really big. And it was full of skeleton keys, old skeleton keys. There must have been hundreds of skeleton keys. And my heart swelled, and I didn't know why. You know, why... Why did they mean something to me? And perhaps it was just because they were keys, prior, like the prior bid. And I raised my little paddle and I bid $10 immediately. Then no one challenged me. So in a matter of seconds, I was the owner of hundreds of skeleton keys, old skeleton keys, that belonged to a man who collected them. I don't know the story of why, but they were mine. And I stood up. And I paid for them. And I left. I left that beautiful house. And I left the memory of the man behind me, but I carried some part of him with me. So they sat in my carriage house for a long time in their tin, full of hope. And if you don't know about Easton, Pennsylvania, it's a very important city. It was along the river, about an hour and a half north of Philadelphia. It was a very old town, full of gorgeous and old houses and history and several people who lived there signed the Declaration of Independence and all of these keys once worked in the doors of these houses if the door still existed. So all of a sudden I felt like I owned the... I owned a huge part of history. Old skeleton keys who... They didn't matter anymore. But they're delicate and intricate and they matter to me. And I carry them with me always. So, I went looking for the tin tonight, and 
because I've moved several times, and I couldn't find where I put them. So I was very frustrated and thought I wouldn't do the skeleton key story tonight. But I do have this. This is a, a shadow box where I filled filled it complete with, completely with keys. And do you see this one right here? They're all so very different and unique. But there are a few of them, not in this box, but there are a few of them that have hearts where the keyhole is. There's the key, yeah, keyhole. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to share my skeleton key story with you. And Easton's a pretty interesting town. Thanks for listening.